Just before starting this episode, I want to let you all know that I'm running into some of the issues I had in the latter episodes of Half-Life, wherein the video playback would be very choppy, where it wouldn't exactly show a continual stream of gameplay and everything, so I'm trying to fix it, I don't know what's going on, but I still have the audio and my commentary, so I'll just splice that together and get you a still frame from the video and that'll have to do for this episode, I suppose. Thanks for being patient. Hey there folks and Faye, hope you're doing well today. Welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Now these surroundings look quite different than the ones I left off during, and that is on purpose entirely. So, here we are, just going over uh, basics of the character right now. Uh, v, we are level 14, we are halfway through level 18 street cred, almost 19. Um, we have a, a lot more uh, Euro dollars credits, and uh, we have a higher carrying capacity. So, going over the character rap sheet right now, these are what the attributes look like right now. Uh, cool is at 7. Um, I purchased Assassin, so I can get 15% base damage for all human enemies. I don't really know what I want to put these two points into right now, so I think I'll hold on to them for stuff. But, uh, yeah, just kind of showing you guys the, the trees real quick. Nothing's changed between, with bro a Breach Protocol. Nothing much has changed between Quick Hacking. Mostly, um, this tree here. And I think I put a little into Handguns. No? Blades? No, I didn't do anything with that. Hmm. Okay. Well, in any case, uh, this is the uh, character right now. And we are here on the map. Still in Watson. I haven't left this area. I haven't gone out. Actually, um, I guess I'm in this district here. I didn't know what that was. But I'm still within the overall bounds of Watson. So... So that's Watson, if I zoom in, this is Kabuki. Okay, I just saw that in the bottom right. So, we have Arasaka Waterfront, Little China, and then North Side. Okay, so first things first on the map, you will see that I'm using the custom filter. And I have the NCPD jobs uh, selected. But there aren't really any NCPD jobs. That's what I've been doing off camera. I made sure to stay away from Regina Jones, didn't purchase any vehicles, didn't do the... Uh, hidden fixer gems job or the thievery or the cyber psychos. I kind of left that stuff uh, Intact so SOS mark needed. Okay. Yeah, so I haven't done any of that. I just did the NCPD like specific jobs So with that being said, I'm gonna go back to dynamic I think because that's a lot of stuff for me to handle and here we are in Kabuki uh, We're in this apartment here. I guess uh, if I go over to this terminal we will see some, we'll see a black screen. Um, okay, maybe that's a bug. Let's go ahead and close this. Open it back up. Okay, that's still black screen. I'm noticing that's a, that's a feature. All right, it's it's not a feature, it's, it's a bug. Um, but I will load into an area that I'd previously saved at and the screens go black because that had stuff on it too. So let me run downstairs, just so I can give the better lowdown of what's going on here. And... Yeah. So I was walking through this market, you know, I got some, uh, some cybernetics from this person. And I went through here, and I saw this door, and it said, oh, hey, pay like 150 credits to open. So yeah, sure, I did it. And then I went around this way. And I got some stuff here, and I opened the security office. Okay, this is actually active. So, you got a local network. Uh, let's keep that off. So, we got some files here. Here's the guest list. So, we have room 201, Monami Nose, 202, Wilson Family, 203 is available, 204, Morton Olson, 5, 6, and 301 available, 302 occupied, 303, Anna, last name not given, extended reservation, one month, do not disturb, 304 available, 305, Anthony Suzuki, 306, Sam Yue. Alright, and then we have some messages here. Hey, got a problem, and that's just like a, uh, uh, it's not a scam mail, it's posing itself as, but it's not. And then we have this from Morton Olson, who was again in 
204. And that's for four nights paid for three. And then it's regarding the woman in room 203. Okay, so it's like a noise complaint, I suppose. So 203 is available. Potentially, they made a um, mistake and it was room 303. I don't know. But looking at that and heading up this way, what I did was I didn't even go up the third flight of stairs yet. I went this way, opened this door, and then here we go. We got like a, pretty much just a basic room here. And then you went out the door onto the balcony here. Uh, avoid that, but turn around, hop up this way, and then go in here. And you have access to this area. Hopefully this computer is working now. No. Okay. So basically it was something about some dude named like Fingers or something who is uh, trafficking, I guess, uh, people. I think that was, like, the gist of the message that I was supposed to understand. Anyways, um, Anna, I believe her name is, who's gotten, like, the one-month stay. She is a detective, and she had a back-and-forth communication with, I guess, people from her precinct, and were like, oh, hey, this would be a good thing to cover. And they're like, well, we can't support you, so, you know, uh, maybe I'll come back at a later time and it'll refresh. But, yeah, I guess, uh... At some point, I do want to try and find this fingers person. I don't know who they are. They're like a fixer, I guess, maybe. Um, but I don't really know what to do with that. Oh, cyberware. I did forget to go over this. So, uh, obviously, I have a lot more cyberware than I did before. I uh, mostly just picked this stuff up from the, uh, again, from the, from the, uh, like, the, the NCPD areas. So, uh, Synaptic Accelerator, Karenzikov, and I have the basic subdermal armor. Uh, bioplastic blood vessels, synth lungs, and then tyrosine injector, still have the Kuroshi optics, uh, and then just basic stuff I've picked up. I got smart link. I haven't used any smart linked weapons, but it should be fine, I guess. And then I got Link's paws, which, again, this is a modded playthrough, so, you know, these are modded to actually be a bit more, uh, useful. Um, in any case, let's actually check and see if so i do have a mod like names places so this is dr chrome buck a slice edge net straight shooters rocker street food yeah so none of these places are named like what was it fingers i think so uh that's buck's clinic yeah so none of these spots are specifically listed as that and you got clothing vendor lizzie's bar yeah and then just food okay I do think it mentioned that the person was uh, a fixer, so I'm going to, you know, try and check out some of the other spots here and there. But I think for now, I'm going to continue. Favor for a friend. Conversation among five travelers concerning life's true happiness. What is that? I don't remember that being a, a gig. Oh, Wakako. Oh, I didn't actually go there, so I don't know why I have that. Selected. So, main jobs. Uh, playing for time. Ooh, okay. Uh, I did get something. Let's actually track this. Come on. Let's track this. So, I did actually get uh, something, which is going to be uh, very depressing, but it was basically... Let's check my phone here. Um, Mama Wells. So, she... She gave us some messages about Jackie because we gave her son's corpse that way. Um, sorry, I was in the middle of something. I'll call you later. See if she responds. And I'll try and give her a call if I can. Oh, job updated heroes. Okay, so let's check that. So we did remember, we did send the uh, Jackie's body to Mama Wells. Um, select. Call Mama Wells. Yeah, let's go ahead and call her. Don't usually give advice, but fuck it, here goes. Don't make the same mistake I made. Say goodbye to the people you love. You know what I mean, right? Jackie Wells was your best chum, and you don't find a lot of straight-up peeps like that in uh, NC. Um, best thing you can do is remember them. Oh, and one more thing. If anyone asks, I didn't just say all that to you. Got it? I don't know who is giving us this advice. Maybe that's Johnny telling us that? 
I think I think it might be. So let's keep this job tracked, but let's give her a call. We don't have our car, so let's kind of just excuse you. Let's just yoink this one. Don't do this. Well, that really sucks for you, but my car now. All right. So let's give Mama Wells. Oh, actually, can I call Jackie? Turn the radio off for this. This number is temporarily unavailable. Please oh, leave man. a message. Jackie, I. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh man. Okay, well let's call Mama Wells instead. Away. How are you doing? How are you doing? How do you think? My son is dead. But I am hanging in there. I wanted to offer you my condolences. Call in to offer my condolences. Hmm? Offer your condolences? Ay, Jesucristo, V. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. Of course. I'll be there too. Oh man. Okay. That stuff is always hard. Whew. Okay, so let's <laughs> let's meet Takemura, and then after that, let's go to the Coyote Goyo. That's what it was, right? I think so. Let's go to the the ofrenda. Tom's diner. Oh, real quick, I do want to check. Uh, don't trust Takemura. Meet with him, sure. Check him out. Keep your eyes open. He's a corpo rat, meaning he's looking to use you. Well, brother, looks like we got ourselves into a real fix. No chance in hell wringing myself out of this one, but you're still alive. And as Misty says, as long as you're alive, there's hope. Fate's given you a second chance, so use it. Get back on your feet. Do that and consider your best friend's last wish fulfilled. Are these messages from Jackie? But he's dead. I'm, I'm so confused. Dead. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Indeed, you should. Why be did you help me? What's it you actually want? So he is going to use us. Is this about the biochip? What do you want, Takemura? Well, you just answered your own question, then. Uh, I don't think so, no. Don't the burger think so, looks good, no. by the way. Can you expand? 
Don't matter how much perfume McCorpo sprays on mornings. By lunch, that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I too stink of skullduggery? Nope. You're starting to stink. Period. <sighs> In night... Uh, well, I got a life to save. My own. So... And then he's gonna hit... And then he's going to hit us with the, what if I told you I can keep you alive? City, I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. You want me to accuse, accuse Yorinobu in front of Arasaka execs? So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. Pawn it. Well, you see, we, mostly thanks to Jackie, uh, managed to escape the corporate life and live. There's no time Hold to on. waste, B. I'm having a fourth wall break. We managed to escape the corporate life, mostly thanks to Jackie, and live, you know? They cut our assets, but they spared our life. What if we can't do the same for Takemura? Because, I mean, he is a huge fugitive. What kind of people are we talking about? Be? Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. The Anders Hellman. You mean those kinds of people? You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama. I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? Let's calm him down. You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. You should not draw attention to ourselves, because, I mean, everyone's practically staring at us, and we're talking about, you know, Yoronobu being a kin killer. Like, seriously? Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. No kidding. Need time to think it over. I'll see about helping you, but I don't make any guarantees. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time. To plan, organize, you stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. 
Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka Spit. Ooh, that's... That's a good choice. Um, I want to get back in touch with Judy and Evelyn Parker, but the Relic Engineer might know more than anybody else. So let's go with that route. I do want to see if we can't go back to Lizzie's and hook up with Judy. See if she doesn't know where Evelyn is. Obviously, got to be careful with that one. Don't want to seem like we're blaming her. Uh, but Relic Engineer mo no more than anybody <laughs> else. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Corpo. Defected? Did someone poach him? Defected? Where to? Some other corp poach him? As far as I can tell, he acted alone. A meticulous man. He planned it. Covered his tracks very well. Any idea where he took off to? None. Yeah, I doubt you'd tell us anyway. You're giving us one choice, and Anders Hellman would be the alternative. Uh, you know more than I thought, Takamoto. There's no time to waste. Somebody's me. been busy the last few days. I. Why were you looking for Hellman? Collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there. Rogue. Huh. You don't have any experience talking to people like that? Mean to say you worked for Saburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the High and Mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's what? Relics engineers know more than anybody else. Oh, am I just going with both options here? So, yeah, so I gotta go after both of them, it seems. Skip, 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 skip. She take you for a suit? No, she saw me as Saburo Sama's killer. Rogue's Skip. well informed. Skip. I wish you. I'll try my luck with Evelyn Parker. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. That Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Is that plan B preparing my own? I cannot stay here Ofrenda? any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. I'll think about it. Oh, hey, bud! Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. Are we buddies now? 
Actually, so I've done a few side quests, and this guy's appeared in those side quests, and I do quite enjoy that. I enjoy the fact that, I mean, obviously we're not buddies now. So, Obviously ready? we're not buddies now, but it's nice that he's, like, slowly warming up to me. Are we buddies now? You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud. Now they're all like, what the fuck me. are you doing? What are you on? What do you want? And I've processed some shit. Changed my mind. Yeah, I don't trust you. Why should I trust you? Remind me again. Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. Now you can help me? Please. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's I mean, her old fair. friend Johnny. Trust me, rogues heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us, Johnny, but fine. There is no us. And he's gone. Uh, by the way, I do really love these little coasters. They're super cute. El Capitan. Oh, I can't go into this way? Oh, no, this day. That's the door. Okay. Call of Duty optional. Alrighty. Sure. Judy Alvarez. Oh, I can't actually message her. Let's give her a call. And then we'll go to the... Uh... Well, let's check these messages. Muammar El Capitan Reyes... V Trumbata, are you making a name for yourself? Making Eddie's got a new look, new wheels, new works. Well, I don't have new wheels, but yeah. How about some new digs too, huh? Got something for you. My Trum Bob over Easy States told me there's a few fresh suits, you, few fresh units for rent. Go check their site or visit them in person before some gonk grabs the best one. Oh uh, yeah, I'll check them out. Thank you kindly. That's what I'm talking about. V, you'll love what I have in store for you. Guns, rides, digs, only for the best. Only the best for my people. Evelyn Parker, anything? We need to talk, it's important. Yeah, you know, fuck off, V. Unable to deliver a message? Yeah, maybe temporarily unavailable. Alright. Mama Wells. Uh, Robert Wilson. Who's that? Uh, okay. I don't know who Robert Wilson is, but okay. Sure. Evelyn Parker... Need a favor. No junk, pre merch only. You know me. Problem is, harder than no one else does. Visit is slow, but that's where you come in. Next time you're around, why don't you stop by, browse around, find better deals anyplace else. Okay, and call Judy. Automatic love. Let's check this. Automatic love. So you've decided to find the chick who put on this first class shit show. She's had a job and you took it because there was no one else to knock some sense into your gonk head. I'm here now, but so what? This search and rescue bullshit's a dead end, but that's not about to stop you. Maybe the Evelyn will. Who knows? It sure seems she doesn't want to be found. So, Judy. Then we got Ghost Town. Go to the afterlife. Okay. Well, let's call Judy and then go to the ofrenda. How about that one? Contact added. Judy. V? Yep. Is that you? Shit. I thought you were gone. I uh, showed it I. Let me track the other quest here before they start doing other stuff. Uh, heroes. No, that keeps disappearing like that. Heroes. Track. Alone and thinking me dead. 
Thought it was game over for me, too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. You heard about the heist? You heard about the heist, I take it. Must have, uh, talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Old damn city's hurt. Uh, well, I want to talk to Evelyn, so... Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? What'd I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Come on, you're the only leader I got. I promise not to blame it on her. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I want to? Uh, let's meet. Can we oh, meet? shoot. Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Oh. Dino Dinovic. You don't know me, but you will. Name's Dino. Deal with downtown city center. V. Yeah, I know. Heard about you. Odd stuff. Need anything, you call me. Remember, Dino knows everybody. Sorry, I just realized the quest swapped on me. No, come on. I don't like how it automatically does that. Heroes, I was tracking this one. There we go. By the way, you're welcome to swing... Oh, well, I'll read that later. So, yeah, as we go to different areas of the game, we will get um, messages and calls and just picked up by different fixers that want us to do their jobs, and most of them seem to be solo jobs. Oh, yep, here's Padre. V, nice to meet you. I like people who understand the value of respect. We'll be in touch, V. Yep. So I accidentally went into, uh, what was it, Japantown? And that's when, um, Wakako messaged me. I was like, oh shoot, gotta load back. Don't wanna miss that call. Because Wakako's a little bit more personal than the rest of the fixers, considering they don't know about Jackie. Well, they might, but not in the same sense that Wakako does. Alright, at some point I will get my car back, but I'm kind of just having fun. <laughs> he was on his phone, just not even paying attention. I'm having fun just picking up random cars, too. Alright, let's go to the ofrenda. Excuse me. my way, man. Alright. The pool table? We got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. So... Maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall. Hi, Mama Wells. Sure. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Huh. <laughs> Certainly been better. Been better, to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night, when Jackie fell. Let's just say things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Let me help you. Uh, actually, what is an ofrenda? And a friend, uh, what's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed, our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. I'm sure some beard be at the top of It's always nice when you're able to kind of smile through that stuff. But absolutely, let me let me help you.
Do I want to take a part in the ceremony if you'll let me? His garage. Thank you. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. I eat the bail. Let's turn off that ping. Oh, man. Whew. Okay. Taken. Even the curbs are ads? That's insane. Hey. You just sitting here alone? Can I join you? This long. Well, let me, let me sit with you. What you doing here? What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Of course. Hardly gonk at all. Just, well, human. I guess. Did you two know each other long? <laughs> hey, Jack told me about you. words maybe but that's what he meant I really believe that you actually got to know him the real Jackie everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough hewn face and an edge but they're wrong he was like that too you know? no Jack was a little of that too always looking on the bright side he wore his heart on his sleeve, and wasn't at all afraid to live fully. Had his inner demons, though. Who doesn't? Exactly. They're what makes us who we really are on the inside. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. Why didn't you go in? How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set. You two didn't get that far? He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Yeah, it's understandable. Well, you're here already, so help me find something for, your, for the ofrenda. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. You mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. 
She wouldn't want me touching any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie would want you here. That's more important. Come on. Yeah, I was trying to wait for dialogue to stop before hopping up. Uh, but no, this is a this is a friends and family, and you you were his girlfriend. I mean, that's of course gonna be uh, important. Where's the here? Open up. Yeah. I love this piece of metal. It's a fine piece of metal in mechanics. <laughs> yeah, you know, an essential for every garage. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Oh, he's got, um, some components. Uh, these haven't been touched. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? <laughs> he's got a key. Calavera Feliz. Was it the name of the liquor, or is that just a bug? Oh, no, that's the name. Okay. Oh, he's got a punching bag. Can't do anything with that. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's the door. Okay. Anything else? Obviously this way. Oh, Jackie. That a mandala? Mm hmm. Oof. It's a long story. You all right? Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, mm -hmm. for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home. The Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Man. I bet she feels part of the family now. Jackie's belt? Leather belt. Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why'd he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. Ooh, that'll send a message like no other. Crime and punishment and zombies. Well, there's a photo there. That must be Jackie's dad. It's gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentino's, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Well, I mean... Might be a little harsh, but data mine, I guess. Yeah, okay. Right, let's read the messages. There's Dex. From T Bug to Jackie, I vouch for you and V. He heard about you, remembered you all too well, even. He will meet V. He'll want to meet with V. But I think it'll just be a formality. See you at the afterlife. Saturday, from Victor to Jackie. The Saturday boys are competing for the World Heavyweight Championship. Savitz and Bla versus Blanco. Beers are already cooling in the fridge. Don't forget about our deal. Blanco wins by KO in the third round. You better have the Eddies. Not letting you off the hook this time. 
Gorgeous ride. Looking for a new owner. From Arc Bike Shop to Jackie. Jackie, my man, you won't believe your luck. A collector's selling a beauty in prime condition. Price is good, if a little over your budget. Let me know if you're interested, because if you aren't, it'll go to someone else. Peace. Sit. Hmm. His favorite tequila. Jackie's favorite tequila. Oh, still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sanson Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. Well, how'd Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him De Abajo had stolen her recipe. <laughs> Anything else I'm missing? An aquarium? An aquarium. They used to be tacos. And taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, mini. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. <laughs> What's here? Try not to step on that. I mean, clearly this, yeah? Taking this, yeah. Perfect for Jackie. Well, you got something for your ofrenda, but we could look around a little more. She still doesn't think she'll be a part of it, though. That's the thing. She says you're. I gotta sneeze. Oh, excuse me. Did I miss anything? I'll take this, too. Ooh, um, yeah. I'll take this, too. True memento, this. Can I take the picture? Love poking around engines. Oh, I missed this one. <laughs> I just got a weight set. He loved to pump iron. Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. The book? For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Dexter all the way. At the very least, she doesn't stay here forever, right? There's something there. Let's go. Better get going. Actually, be Oh I no, 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 no. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want mm -mm. me there anyway. What's going on with you two? What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Right. You're coming, though. Time I even tried. Seriously? Meaning? Pack my bags and hopped on a plane? To Nepal. And I... friends. Absolutely. You ever think about leaving Night City?
I don't know if I was supposed to shut that or not. But we're going inside, so. I don't want to get in anyone's way. I don't know if they're approaching in a specific format. Um, a little confused as to what's going on here, but I think they're trying to find their place in line. Good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. Hey, Vic. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying. Make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true. Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, ol, honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? Oh, yeah. I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. Feels like it happened a century ago. At another time. In another place. Jackie saved my life. And then... Years later in Night City, he saved it again. At a time when I thought I'd lost absolutely everything. I found my own freedom then. But it would not have happened without him, Jackie Wells. An honorable man. He placed principles first and stuck hard to him. 
And once he set his mind to something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me, Broder, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. He kept Haywood in his heart, always. It made him who he was. But most importantly, Everyone saw Jackie as a grinning charmer who saw the good in everyone, everything. But they were wrong. Jackie Wells was a hell of an ambitious chum who never gave up, and whose drive cost him his life. But he did in life what he said he'd do, reach for fortune and fame. No fear in eyes or heart. When you go to war as a boy, you have a great illusion of immortality. Other people get killed, not you. Then, when you are badly wounded the first time, you lose that illusion. Rest easy, Chum. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putica Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. <sighs> Man, I'm gonna cry. You sure? You... You sure? Jackie would kill me if I got so much as a scratch on it. So don't get any scratches on it. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, V. Oh, man. Okay. Vic? Campos all torn up. Says he feels miss like him. he lost one of his own. I already do. He's torn up after you die. Uh, me too, cabron. Started something, eh? Me too. Not today. Here's to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. To Jackie. Oh. I'll see you, Vic. Sure. Hang in, I didn't, kid. I didn't do that. My my controller. <laughs> oh man. Sorry about that one. Pour you another for Jaquito. I swear to be we're here without him. Weird being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar in his favorite spot where he always used to sit. I'll drink one for him, yeah. Pour for Jackie. Amen, brother. The Valentinos. You all right? Of course. We got Padre up here. Where are the Valentinos? You, uh, 
You're here to say goodbye to one of your own? Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. You believe in life after death? So, Padre, you think Jackie's looking down upon us? From up there? I believe he has met God, stood before him. That's it. I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. <laughs> Do you know him well? Jackie, uh, do you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took you into his home. Yes, V. I knew him quite well. How are things in the streets? This is not the place to conduct business. Have some respect. I, yeah, I figured that was a pretty bad option, but, you know, I wanted to go over them all. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. And then the Valentinos are down there. Oh, man. It's so, so good to see you. Hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? How'd you meet Jackie? How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. Yeah. I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. I think we might know each other. Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Thank you. All right, why not? To Wells. May he rest in peace. Good for now, thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Nah, give me a break. All right, let's go.